this is the Robertson grave and I'm here really to pay my respects to Jenny Smiley Robertson. Jenny was born February 10, 1878. She passed away February 26th, 1981. Jenny was the first Canadian female surgeon. She performed the country's first gynaecological surgery. What a feat, eh? Jenny enrolled at the Ontario Medical College for Women. This college merged into the University of Toronto Medical School while she was there. She graduated in 1909. However, due to the lack of options in Toronto, she completed her training in the States. No hospitals in Toronto would take her as a resident intern. So Jenny returned to Toronto in 1910, but again, there were no doctors who would accept her so she went back to the States. After returning to Toronto a second time, none of the hospitals would let her perform surgeries. So her first op to remove an ovarian tumour was performed in the patient's own home on the kitchen table. She weren't gonna let anything stop her, this lady. So in 1911, Jenny and some female colleagues re-established the Ontario Medical College for Women and were known as the Women's College Hospital. However, the hospital was originally located inside rented houses. Later, a purpose-built building was constructed. Jenny later became an Associate Chief of Gynaecology and held that position until 1942. She retired in 1948. She died in a nursing home in Toronto in 1981. She was 103 years old. You go girl, well done. What a complete legend. In 2016, she was one of the nominees to have a picture on a Canadian banknote, but she wasn't selected unfortunately. Thank the universe for women like Jenny Smiley Robertson. As I said, she was not going to let anything get in her way. Rest in peace, Jenny, and the rest of your family there. Until the daybreak and the shadows flee away. Beautiful.